What's going on guys? In today's video, we're gonna take a look at recording our guitar using our Line 6 Pod HD500X to our computer. And we're gonna do it using a USB cable. Now, this is probably the simplest way to do it because we don't need to really use any external hardware like an external audio interface or microphones miking up our amps. We can just record our guitar direct to our computer. And the only piece of equipment that we need is a USB A to B cable. So let's check it out. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug the 500X to my computer using the USB cable. And then I'm gonna open up my DAW. I like to plug any USB devices in before opening the DAW. Things just seem to work a little bit better that way. In this video, I'm gonna be using Ableton Live, but you know, this process should work for most other DAWs. I'm gonna switch to the timeline view. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into my preferences. I'm gonna to go to the audio tab. And for the audio input device, I wanna make sure that this is set for Pod HD 500X. If for some reason you're not seeing 500X as an option, uh, you may need to just like close out of your DAW and reopen it. You could unplug the USB cable, plug it back in, unplug the power cable from the 500X, power back up, try, it, try that first. And if nothing is working, um, you may need to check your drivers and I will post a link to the support page on Line6's website where you can download the USB drivers that you need. Then for audio output device, this is kind of up to you, whatever you wanna do. So I could do the built-in output and this is gonna take um, the audio from my project and it's just gonna play it through the computer you know, as it normally would. So either out of the computer speakers or I could plug headphones in. If I wanted though, I could also send the audio to the 500X. And so any audio that plays in the DAW, any backing tracks, drum tracks, bass, it's all gonna get played through the 500X. And so I can listen to that just through the headphone jack, or um, I could use like studio monitors or something, but probably the easiest thing to do is just plug your headphones straight into the headphone jack, and you'll be able to hear the whole project uh, through the 500X. I'm gonna close out of preferences. And then if I arm an audio track and play something, I can see that I'm getting audio. And if I hit record, I can see that I am now recording my guitar. Here's a couple things to keep in mind. If you're using your 500X to monitor your DAW, you're gonna wanna make sure that you turn off live monitoring for the guitar track that you're currently recording. This is because the 500X is always outputting your guitar signal, no matter what settings you have on your computer. So if you wanna monitor through the 500X, you plug headphones into your 500X, you're gonna hear your guitar tone no matter what. So if you're also monitoring your guitar in your DAW, you're gonna hear your guitar signal as it's first played in the 500X, and you're gonna hear it um, as it comes from the DAW back into the 500X, probably with a little bit of latency. So you might end up in a situation where you're hearing your guitar like twice, and probably one of them is like slightly delayed. So if you, if you end up with that, just make sure that the live monitoring is set to off on the particular track that you're recording. Otherwise, you're gonna end up hearing like two takes of your guitar signal like simultaneously. Also, if you have your audio output for the computer speakers, and you're noticing a little bit of latency while you're recording a track, if you go into your preferences, somewhere like in the audio section, you should find something called latency or like a buffer size. The, the smaller the number, the less latency that you're gonna get. So when you pick a note, um, the quicker you're gonna hear it back. The problem is though, that the smaller the number, like the less buffering you allow, you can start to run into audio quality issues where maybe the your guitar tone is like breaking up or the computer can't really like process the entire like track, it can't keep up with it. So you kind of have to find a nice balance of the smallest number. So you get the least amount of latency, but you don't like lose audio quality. Okay guys, that's probably like 90% of what you need to know to get started recording your 500X to your computer using a USB cable. If you have any other questions, be sure to post them in the comments and I'll try to respond as quickly as I can. If you found this video helpful or informative or anything, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel for more content, and I'll catch you guys 
in the next video. So until then, see you later.